Hello, in this demo we are going to see the data controls or data server controls. So I will start my visual web developer which is free. So go to start programs Microsoft visual web developer 2008 express edition. This is what you can find on Microsoft website and you can download it for free. Now I am going to start a new web application. I will click on file. I will say new website and I am going to name it my data controls example and I will say ok. As we have seen earlier it is going to start up a new website for me with a default page. Now I am coming on my design window. Now here is my toolbox. In my toolbox I have my data controls. From this data controls I am going to work with grid view first. I am going to work with grid view. Now what is grid view? Grid view is nothing but it is a server data control. We can call it as server data control. All the controls that we have seen in our earlier videos are server data controls like text box, button, drop down list and all those things. So grid view is also a server data control. Now I am going to work with grid view. What is the use of grid view? Now grid view is used to display the data table. Now whatever the table I have in my database, I want to replicate the same on my web page. Then I can go for grid view. That means I am displaying the complete table as it is on my web page with the help of grid view. Now I will just drag and drop my grid view on the page. Now I am going to configure the data source. Now to configure the data source, what is that I should do? View database explorer and I have my database which is an express edition. Now from this tables I am going to display the complete employee table. It is going to show us all the tables. I am going to display the complete employee table in my grid view. So what is that I need to do? I need to click on my smart tag. We call it as smart tag. I will click on this. Once I click on this it will say choose data source. So I am going to choose a new data source. Now I am going to select database. Why? Because I am going to connect to SQL server database. I will say ok. As I am connecting for the first time, it will show me the database name. I will select the database name and I will say next. Now it is saying that whatever you are making connection to the database, it is storing with a connection string called as organization db connection string. This is the name of the connection string. This is what we are going to save in our web.config file. I will rename it as my con str, my connection string. I will say next. Now next time if I am connecting to the database, it will not show the database name. Now it will show me my con str, whatever we have named it. From this drop down list, I am going to select employee table and I will say select star from employee table and I will say next. Test the query so that it will show us all the records that I have and I will say finish. So this is what the table I have. Now I can click on auto format. I can go for some color combination. I will select classic. I will say ok. Now I will save this and I am going to execute this. So it is displaying me all the records from the table as it is. Fine. Now I will try to enhance my grid view. How can I enhance my grid view? I will click on smart tag and I have few items. I will check them. I will say enable paging, enable sorting, enable selection. Enable selection. Now enable paging means what is that it will do? For example, I have 1000 records in my table. If I do not say enable paging, it will display all the 1000 records on the single page. 
if I say enable paging, it will show me 10 records on one page and it will have pagings 1, 2, 3, numeric paging. And if I say enable sorting, I can sort as per the columns. I can arrange the values by employee ID, by employee name, by employee salary. No, we will see that. And select, I can simply select any row. I'll execute this. Now you see that I have only 10 records on my first page. If I click on this number 2, that is on second page, I'll have remaining records. I can navigate through the pages of grid view, page 1 and page 2. Now I can arrange them. See, by default, they are in ascending order as per employee ID. I, if I click, they'll get arranged in ascending order. Now if I click once again, they'll get arranged in descending order. The highest employee ID is on top. Now in the same way, if I click on employee name, I'll have all the employees arranged in ascending order, A, B, C, D order. Then descending order is Z to A. In the same way, employee salary, the lowest salary is on top. If I click again, the highest salary will be on the top. In the same way, employee date of birth, the lowest date of birth, that means the senior most employee. The highest date of birth, that means the youngest employee. Again, I can arrange them in employee gender, all the females, then males. In the same way, department ID, two employees with no department ID and with department ID 1, department ID 2, and if you go to the page 2, you will have department ID 3 remaining. So, these are the features which are supported by your grid view. Now, I am going to enhance it little more. So, what is that I will be doing? I will again click on smart tag. This time, I will configure my data source and I will say next. When we were configuring our data source for the first time, what is that we did? We simply said select star from table employee. Now, this time, I will click on my advanced button and I will say generate insert update and delete statement. I will say okay. Then I'll say next. Then I'll say finish. Now it is showing enable editing, enable deleting. Now I'll check enable editing and I'll check enable deleting. And I'll save this and execute this. Now see that in this grid view, it is giving us two more features. That is, I can edit a record or I can delete a record. Now you see that I got edit and delete links. Now I will click on this edit record. Now I can edit the name, employee salary, date of birth, gender and department. You see that I cannot edit employee ID. Why? Because this is primary key. I cannot change or update the employee ID. Whereas salary I can update. I will update the salary from 23,000 to 25,000 and I will say update. So my salary got updated. Jack, employee ID 100, salary got updated to 25,000. Now, I'll do one thing. Employee ID 15, Peter, I'm going to delete this Peter record. Employee ID 15. Now, I have performed two operations. One is edit and another is delete. Now, what do you think? Are they going to reflect in the database? Definitely any operation that we perform on the grid view, it is going to reflect directly into our database. Now just we can have a cross check, I will right click on the table and I will say show table data. See that 100, jack id 100, salary got updated to 25,000 and 115 Peter, that record got deleted. So any changes that we are performing in our grid view will reflect in our database. So, a grid view is nothing but it is the replica of your data table in the database. So, what is it I am trying to do? I am trying to display the complete table as it is on my web page. And your grid view by default gives us two options. One is edit, another is delete. I cannot perform insert operation from grid view. So, this is all about your grid view control. Thank you very much.